segment of The Savvy Shopper. Today, I am going to share some of my shopping strategies for financial health. Welcome to the Dr. John Shaw Holistic Wellness Show. Today, we're going to talk about food strategy and how to shop wisely and how to save money, how to shop for natural foods. And I'm going to introduce Joe to you speak on that. Did you know that a current survey showed that a large percentage of Americans live paycheck to paycheck with less than three months of emergency living expenses in the bank? And I live in Hawaii, which ranks number three on the list. So if you are one of those statistics, my recommendation is to track your spending. Take two to four weeks and document every purchase. If you're like me, I charge everything on my credit card because it simplifies the tracking process to show me what I am spending and where the overages are. Now this allows me to change my spending habits so I can put the remaining monies in the bank for emergency use. Another way to track your spending is to prepare a monthly budget. Now, this may not be for everyone because it can be a tedious process, but it works. So here's the first step. Start with an empty envelope and put in as many index dividers equal to the amount of your bills. Now label the dividers with the name of each bill. Put in the exact amount of money you intend to spend or experiment by taking monopoly money equal to the exact amount of your monthly income or if that's not available you can do as I do make your own paper money and place it in the empty envelope if there is any left over save it to cover unexpected expenses or the old cliche having to save for a rainy day this system does work, however, can be frustrating if you are not used to putting yourself on a budget. In each household, food seems to be high on the list of expenses. I make this my mission to become a savvy shopper by planning my shopping needs weekly. This way, I get the best deals offered in the markets. If this means stop shopping at other markets, Close by, it's worth the savings. Every supermarket has an available app for customers to view. If you don't have access to a smartphone, you won't have to depend on the newspaper ads to look for the sales. An example, if you have an iPhone, go to the Apple Store and download Target app. Then review all of the food items on sale. This helps to make your shopping easier and more organized. Stick to your list and you will stick to your budget. Another example regarding financial health is whatever vegetables you buy on sale. Plan to make several dishes in different variations for that week so they don't spoil before you get a chance to use it up. On the average, 25% of household food is tossed out because people buy ingredients to make a single recipe and throw out the excess. I know this for fact because I used to be one of them. So it's important to develop a meal plan to use all of your food purchases over several days before they go bad. Also, challenge yourself and find grocery stores that offer senior discounts on certain days of the week and manufactured coupons. Be patient and wait for the in-store coupon to take advantage of the double savings at the end of each month. Tally up your savings and you will be surprised to see how much money is left in your budgeting envelope. The last tip regarding strategy shopping is sticking to your budget and buy in bulk. For example, if you shop at Costco or Sam's Club, you can save money if you have a family. Buying for two, you're better off at Target or Walmart, where they have a good selection 
of organic meats, fruits, frozen food with no additives and preservatives. Hi, I'm Joe, and good morning. We are filming today in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. It's a very sunny day today, and I'm energized to start my week off by planning my meals. Today is Sunday, and you are in my home, in my kitchen, and I'm ready to start the segment off by showing you what my routine is when I plan for the week. I start off with getting newspaper clippings, and I line them up on my kitchen table, And for those of you that are already savvy shop, uh, shoppers, I know you have your own routine of what you use to find ways of cutting down on food prices. For me, I shop at about five different supermarkets. I'm very fortunate to live in a location where the radius between each place that I shop at is only within five minutes of each other but also they offer the in-store coupon in addition to the manufacturer's coupon. So here's the manufacturer's coupon and here is the in-store coupon. So I can get this item, fruit cup, three for five dollars. So I'm going to have a tremendous savings. So I will put that aside because this is one of the items that is a must for me to pick up at the store. And sometimes if you want to buy other items, not necessarily food items, but I have one here that is gonna offer me a very good price. It is the L'Oreal hair coloring. So right in the store ad, I'm seeing that it is marked down from $11 to $7.99. And I just so happen to have the in-store coupon where I save a dollar and also I have the manufacturer's coupon for six dollars if I buy two boxes. So all of you out there you can do the math on that and see what kind of savings that I will have if I buy two boxes. Now that I've showed you the basics of how to maximize your savings using food coupons, we're going to move along to the next step where I'm getting ready to do my meal planning for the week. So just to save some time, I've already clipped out a lot of my coupons, the in-store coupons and the manufacturer coupons. So I'm taking all of it with me, putting it to the side, getting organized, and I'm ready to start the meal planning. I have a little tablet where I write down the foods that I have seen in the ads. And that's how I select the foods that I'm going to be planning for the week. What I get a big kick out of is all the new technologies that have surfaced for savvy shoppers like myself. I like to download the certain apps to my favorite stores, which is like Target, Walmart, Costco, Sam's Club, and if you don't have any of these stores in your location, then if you have an iPhone, the Apple iStore, to see what other markets are out there. Once I download my apps, I check each store to see if I can find those food items that I've listed down to maximize my savings. As you can see, I've already started with my food list, and I have found that if I plan and organize my meals and the items that I am purchasing, then there is a big savings by the end of the week. As long as I have my iPhone with me, with my app open, I can actually scan some of the barcodes to see what is on sale, especially if you don't have the newspapers to inform you of the items they have put on sale for that week. This segment on how to become a savvy shopper is not isolated to just seniors. 
However, they do offer in some markets that I know in Hawaii, my favorite market, Don Quixote, they offer Tuesdays for senior discount days offering 10% off. I feel they do this because it's probably one of the slowest days of the week. For those that are not seniors, Safeway offers a Friday only specials where some of the selected items are just $5. My recommendation is to get up early, get down to the supermarket and pick up your food items that are priced at just $5. I encourage you to get up early and do this because they don't offer any rain checks. On my next segment, I'll be going to the supermarkets and showing you how to become a label reader, selecting items that do not contain chemicals, in addition to no artificial sweeteners, no preservatives, no MSG, may sometimes be considered G-R-A-S, or generally recognized as safe by the Food and Drug Administration. For gluten sensitive, I will show you some of the gluten-free items I use that actually taste good. I will show you some brands and touch a bit on items that are GMO. So if it doesn't state that on the label, that's where the challenge is because now that I've showed you how to maximize your savings on food items, if the label does not state GMO, you can safely assume it has been genetically modified, especially canned corn. There are a lot of other products out there that is genetically modified and which I will touch a little bit of that sequence when I'm at the store. The downside of shopping this way to be healthier and eating better, it is a bit more pricier. And sometimes you may not see the in-store coupon, but maybe the manufacturer coupon. Okay, so we will see you on the next segment in the grocery store. Mahalo, as we say in Hawaiian. I'm asking you for comments to give me and any kind of criticism or if you like it or don't like it, put it in your comments. And then you can Twitter me or you can put it into a um, YouTube comments or you can even put it into Facebook. You know, I encourage that because you get better with the comments. 